The next step is to create the reference marker for level 4 at gridline A1, the same way we did for level 8. After that, we will change the colour of the level 4 lines so we can tell the difference between level 4 and level 8. So let's do that now. Click on the draw line icon and just mark that out. Let's zoom in close to make sure we mark that out very clearly. There we go. So we can now clearly see A1. So we're going to window the perimeter for level 4. Then go to Modify Properties and change the colour to Cyan. Close that, press Escape and you can see that is now Cyan in colour. So let's label this. We click on our little text button in iSCAF We'll make this our start point and have white as the colour. Let's make it a bit bigger. And this will be labelled as level 4. Cyan. And let's also label here in the same way. And this will be level 8 and it is yellow in colour. Now we can take the actual plan and move it into position. So we can basically click on the move command and window that. We're going to now right click. Now we've selected all these objects, we zoom in and it's going to ask us for a base point. We want the base point to be the middle of this grid line A1 for the yellow area. And we're going to position that on top of our little marker here on the other plan. Zoom in really close for maximum accuracy. And let's move that over. So now we have the perimeter of level 4 and level 8 together in different colours on the same drawing. So now we can move our original level 8 background image a bit further out of the way. Because we may not be needing that anymore. Okay, and now we can actually draw the bays. So the scaffold can sit at this level. which is approximately 17 metres off the ground. 
So right here, this level is about 17 metres off the ground and outside of the blue perimeter is the ground. So we can start laying out bays of scaffold. Click on make wall. Click OK. First point and we can force the straight line, make the second point and draw some bays. Okay, now let's concentrate on the grid line G. So we can see that grid line G is here. So we're going to fill this gap. We're not going to scaffold this whole wall, but we're going to look at how you would step in and out. So we're going to make a wall again. And this time we're not going to have side brackets and we're going to make it 0.7 wide. We should be able to fit three bays in there. Let's try that. And let's go auto here. Okay, we can edit the wall. So we're in edit wall details, but before we do anything here, let's change one of these bays to a 1.8. So we click on replace bay, click on the bay, make it a 1.8 make that side shorter. That seems to fit quite nicely in there. And we can also see our blue line is right there. So we might decide that we're going to create another bay, maybe the same width. So let's use the copy wall north command. So we want these bays to be joined. Now they don't have to be joined. We could just make another wall and set it at a different height. But in this case, we want the bays to be joined. So copy wall north, click on the toolbar option, click on the bay, and we're going to specify 0.7 wide scaffold. So we'll sit it there like that. And that leg has gone over that blue line. So we want that to be sitting on the ground. So once again, another copy wall north option, Press spacebar to repeat the last command and another 0.7 bay just out here. We can actually temporarily turn off the background images by clicking on our layer control right there in our plot setup area. Click on overlay to turn the checkbox off. As you can see, it's now turned off. So we're going to do some more editing now. Let's click on the edit wall option. So we'll go into edit mode by selecting edit plan. As you can see, the cursor changes into a square box. And now we want this area of scaffold to go all the way to the top. So this area here is sitting about 17 metres off the ground. So we'll click on this bay, select edit wall details. We want to deck every level, so that's already been set. And we are going to go from 17 metres to around 47.5 metres. So you can see here 17 to 47.5. We click apply to selection and window around that run of scaffold. Then right click and that's done. That's going from 17 to 47.5 meters. 
Now in the same way, click on the next set of bays, edit the wall. Now this bay here is really just going to be a join, so we don't really want much scaffold in this area. We just want it to be a join between this run here and this run here. We're going to make this over here 0 to 18, so therefore we'll just make this middle section 17 to 18. So it's just going to be a short little scaffold, 17 and 18 metres in elevation. Turn these on, make it 18, and make this 17. We don't want any decks in this area, so we'll turn off the decks. Apply to selection. Carefully window those eight legs. Right click and that's made the change. And finally over here, edit wall details. So out here it's going to be 0 to 18. So we change that. Apply to selection and carefully window around these eight legs. And now we've applied all that we needed to for that run.